All right, so welcome to Mr. Garrett trying to figure out how a document camera works. So you have had a chance to read the text that is up here. It's a bunch of hypothetical information about what history is. You've had a chance to kind of have a response about that. And now for the remainder of assignments, numbers three through six, your job is to basically do the work of a historian. So the subject of this very first introductory assignment is slavery and freedom, and in particular, the experience of African-American slaves before the Civil War. You're gonna be looking at two primary sources, and you're basically, before you do that, you're gonna to have to kind of try to figure out if a you were a working historian trying to answer the question of what slavery was like before the Civil War, what kind of sources would you go and look for? So I have this grid here. This is an assignment number three. And I'm just gonna give you an example just to kind of get you guys started. So since we're talking about slavery, you might wanna look at something like a slave narrative, as I know you folks have done in your English classes and things like that. So we'll write type of source, um, slave narrative, and the difficulty to find it, we'll say, you know, not difficult and the reason it's not difficult is these are published and uh, spread widely by abolitionists i'm confident that you can do this assignment because you've already taken you as history one and you have a sense of some of the places that information came from to explain the slavery experience, I would think back in particular to the Shegg activities Mr. Lapine had you do. So once you complete this grid, you're gonna move on to here, which is assignment number four. Again, up here is number three in Google Classroom. And this one is basically gonna be looking for evidence. And so the main question, I'm gonna underline right here, what were the experience of slaves like before and during the Civil War? Um, and your job is basically, and it's on the next page, but um, in classroom it will be up top, is to go through this document right here, source one, in addition to source number two, which is here, and underline three pieces of evidence. You've written essays before. This is basically similar to the note cards you've been asked to do in your research papers for Ms. Lapine and Mr. Wall. And so you basically just go through, and we're trying to figure out again what were the experiences of slaves like before and during the Civil War. So I'm just going to read through the very first paragraph and stop when I find one piece of evidence. I getting old, old, you know I is old, and I had been a grown woman when the Civil War broke out. I was hired out then to Mr. McDonald, who lived on Atlantic Street. Okay, so first thing, I'm trying to ask the question, what was the experience of a slave like before the Civil War? So, I've been a grown woman when the Civil War broke out. I was hired out then to a Mr. McDonald, who lived on Atlantic Street. The phrase, I was hired out then, tells me that this person, and this is something you may want to be thinking about, was hired out to someone other than her master. And I might even make a marginal note if I was lucky enough to have a paper copy in front of me. If not, you can you know, include this just kind of in your mental calculations of why you're writing things down. Um, so let's see, other person than their master. So that's that as far as underlying evidence. The next thing you're going to need to do on both document um, source number one and source number two is again try to answer the question what this document tells us that might help us understand the relationship between slaves and their masters. So because I highlighted over here in the source that slaves were hired up people other than their masters, I'd write down over here slaves were hired out to people to work, just to be clear, other than their masters. So you'll do this three times for each of the two sources and then you're done with assignment number four. Once number four is done, we're gonna move on to this one, which is gonna be number five in your Google Classroom. And so you're going to take the information you did in assignment number four, and you're basically going to just say, how do these two different sources differ? And so what's similar? 
give me at least three reasons that it's noted in your classroom assignment. And what's different, give me three reasons. And you're going to find plenty of those. The very, very last thing you're going to need to do after answering this question here in assignment number six is write an argument about why the two sources, even though they appear to be from the same person, have different information in them. So I'm kind of giving it away a little bit, but I also want you to understand what you're doing. And this is effectively a single paragraph short essay. So that's the first assignment. It's a question of how do we do history, really as much as anything else. And good luck.